So this is the energy profile for the endothermic reaction. In endothermic reaction, the heat of the product is greater than the heat of the reactant, and that is why the enthalpy change is uh, positive. Let's take for instance, you have here 0, here is 5, here is 10, here is 15. You discover that when we determine the enthalpy change, which is heat of product minus heat of the reactant, the heat of the product is 10, for instance, here. Then, the heat of the reactant, where the reactant started, is 5. And the 10 minus 5 will give you plus uh, 5. Because it is plus 5, the reaction is endo, endothermic reaction. In endothermic reaction, the enthalpy change is uh, positive. And the distance from the reactant to the upper point of the curve here is called the activation energy. That is the distance from here to here. The height of the energy profile is the activation energy. The height is from where the reactant started until you have the curve. So the distance from here to here, which is the height of the energy profile, is the activation energy. The highest point here is called the activated uh, complex. We can also have the transition state. That is the point at which the reactant can either go ahead to form the product or rebounds back as an uh, unchanged uh, reactant. So this is the energy profile for the endothermic reaction. That of uh, exothermic reaction can also be shown. So this is the energy profile for exothermic reaction. If you look at this, you discover that the heat of the product is less than the heat of the reactant. Let's take for instance, we label here as 0, this place 5, here 10, we have here 15. If you want to check the enthalpy change, delta H, which is the heat of the product minus the heat of the reactant. The heat of the product is low here, which is 5, minus the heat of the reactant, which is uh, 10. 5 minus 10 will give you minus 5. Because of the presence of this minus, now it means that heat is uh, evolved. Minus means that you have taken away heat from the system, and this reaction is an exothermic uh, reaction. And uh, the distance from the reactant to the where the call you have the call the height of the energy profile we call it the activation energy so this is for the exothermic uh, reaction like we said the energy profile for the exothermic reaction is shown as this if you want to know that it's actually exothermic reaction you can go for the delta h the delta h is heat of product minus heat of reactant the heat of the product is five is less than the heat of the reactant. 5 minus 10 will give you minus 5. So that negative shows that heat is taken away from there. Then the distance from the reactant to where you have the curve, that is the height of the profile, is the activation energy. Then the top point there is the activated uh, complex. So this diagram depicts the energy profile for exothermic uh, reaction.